The Sioux City City Council's first meeting of the new year turns out to be a lively one. A proposed construction project of Riverside Boulevard being met with strong opposition from residents. KCA Unite's Rebecca Pryor tonight sharing why those folks are concerned and the details behind the project. It's our top story at 10. Yeah, Tim, for now, City Council is pumping the brakes on that construction project after a handful of residents spoke out about taking Riverside Boulevard down from four lanes of traffic to three. But the Iowa Department of Transportation says that they're making the change for residents' safety and that they have the statistics to prove it. The Iowa DOT has been studying Riverside Boulevard for years. Presenting their findings before the community and city council, state transportation leaders say research shows a growing number of accidents near intersections and entrances. We are concerned about their safety. Now proposing changing lanes down from four to three to help reduce accidents by what they believe could be 25 percent. So people that are doing the left turn movements are out of the flow of traffic and that reduces the accidents that you see in a corridor. But for folks living and working along the corridor, I'm against the three lanes. Lane. Many feel strongly that the change would slow down traffic. You're reduced by a lane. It makes for for bottlenecking. I think that for residents trying to get in and out of Riverside in a quick manner. That just one lane possible is going to be a lot of congestion. One way south. This poor people on the boulevard are never going to get out of there. Mayor Bob Scott also among those questioning the efficiency of switching to three lanes, saying other factors could be contributing to the accidents. I don't think they made an overwhelming argument other than some accidents and that. But again, I, my argument is in some of these corridors, we do, don't do a very good job of traffic enforcement. I don't think the problem is the lanes. I think the problem is people speeding through there in the tr amount of truck track we have. I just don't think it's... It's going to help anything going down one lane. And while council agrees the project could improve safety. I think it will reduce traffic accidents. I don't think there's any question. A decision on the construction has been postponed to determine what's best for the community. We're letting them make the judgment of what they think is going to be better for the community. The travel time aspects and the concerns that some people have or the safety benefits of doing the conversion. Now that project will be revisited at a city council meeting three weeks from now on January 27th. If approved, construction will begin in May and take up to three to four months. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rebecca Pryor, KCU 9 News.